I love this shelf so much. You wouldn't think it by looking at it, would you? So um, yeah, it's time to clean it again. But instead of me doing it on my own, I figured I would take you along and while I clean, I'm gonna update you on the orchids that are going to leave the collection today. This shelf is located in triple A location in the grow space. The sun is already coming through and I could put orchids there that really could do with a little extra bit of a boost like my complex Phalaenopsis hybrids. But <clears throat> you can see that it is a traffic way for all the little birdies that come and visit Ciliano. And it doesn't take very long for it to look like this, which is extremely annoying. And I don't want them jumping on my Phalaenopsis either because of their little claws and they leave marks. On top of that, that terrace door to the left is always open, <laughs> meaning a lot of dust comes in. So while I do wipe on occasions, a deep clean happens maybe every week, every two weeks, depending how I get around with it. Yes, within a week, it looks like this. And I can assure you that by tonight, I'm gonna have droppings back on my heat mats, which I don't use, but I will have those droppings back by tonight because the birdies come in and visit Siliana, who is piping up in the background. He says hi. <laughs> but they'll come and visit him when they have finished their siesta. So what I'm gonna do is show you some orchids that are leaving the collection today, just so that we can document that and, you know, kill two birds with one stone, pun intended. I have to add that. <laughs> I just thought it was kind of fitting. Anyway, let me correct myself. I'm not entirely sure if this orchid is going to leave the collection or not, but this is my Signodis lodigesii. Oh. This one, if I'm gonna keep it, I'm going to have to take it out of the media because it is a source of thrips. They came back again on this orchid and subsequently have spread to some other orchids on the lower shelf where this orchid used to live. I took it away, I treated it, but it's so late in the day when I noticed the thrips damage and the leaves themselves, they are so fine, I don't know. The largest back bulb is going very, very soft. It is bothering me, but it's still got some green on it, so I think my last Last resort would be just to unpot it and put it somewhere and see what happens. I'm undecisive, but this one's not exactly going to go into the bin. The next one that is very much going into the bin is my Tolumnia Gyrac Red Sun. I thought we were gonna pull her through because she did start a new growth back in the day, but she has since completely collapsed and now has all the attributes of oregano. Another one that is going to go into the bin is my Trichocentrum tigrina. I tried, put her on lava rock, I watered it, made sure there's humidity all around the rock and everything. I had very high humidity this summer as well, so I thought we are going to be in for a successful new growth. It hasn't happened, and yes, while you still see some green and life in the leaves, there is really none left. To be honest with you, this orchid feels very, very crispy, although you see in green, it is misleading. The next one that is very, very unfortunate that is leaving the collection is my Lelia Vasconcelosiana. I tried. Same principle, had a very tiny little root when it arrived, and I thought this is gonna work. Put a base of ceramis at the bottom, always water around the orchid, keep it nice and humid. It's gonna make it well. It didn't. That to me is extremely unfortunate as well because, you know, me and Repiculus Lelias, I'm gonna have to uncheck that box on my list of collecting them all. Another unfortunate demise is my Orangus Mysticidii. <laughs> high humidity. What do you know? My Fastuosa went because of high humidity and now my Orangus is also history. The reason being, my setups are geared towards a very dry climate, as in 10% humidity, 15% humidity for the most part of the warm summer months, including hot winds. Everything evaporates quicker. And this year I have had 75, I've even woken up to 90% humidity and throughout the day it would drop maybe to 85% humidity. I mean, it is glorious. I am absolutely loving it. But my setup 
was not on par with high humidity environment. So these little angraecoids that are in a setup of high humidity got stem rot. She is beautiful. I'm going to miss her. I have some very nice memories and footage of having grown her. Last but not least, very, very upsetting. The gifted orchid that I got from Michael McCarthy that, yeah, this is Ninjara. She is leaving the collection. I'm heartbroken. I do struggle with all orchids that I lose, but when I understand why I've lost them and I've grown them very, very well over the years, then I can assure you it's okay. I've learned something and I know what I can do and cannot do. And it's the same with Ninjaraf. I know what went wrong, stem rot and all of that stuff. It was just horrible from the get-go. I'm absolutely gutted, but you see, this is a gift. Just like with Alelia Vasconcelosiana, she was a gift as well. This really, really hurts a little bit more when people gift me orchids and then this is what happens. I want to thank everybody for being so generous about gifting me orchids. I've already put a stop to that because I can't take it anymore. I don't want the stress. I have enough anxiety going on with the orchids I'm trying to get through when things get a little tough. So if I can control that anxiety by stopping people from their generous kindness in wanting to gift me orchids or replace orchids, I think you understand where I'm coming from. I just can't do it anymore. And there's one more I would like to show you, and that is my little Orangus luteo alba. The Cygnodes lodigesii has given it thrips. This is the last one of the two that I got from Anonymous as a gift. And this is a bummer because I'm not sure she's going to recover. She is trying and I'm trying to help her along. I doubt it very, very much though. Something tells me she won't be around for long. So my apologies as well to Anonymous for this mishap. I apologize. And I look at my Lottie Jesse eye with a real grrr, you know, there's a rumble inside of me because the Lutio Alba was doing so, so well. The other one declined because of thrips. It was too much for her to bear, but this one was doing really well. It was nice and clean up until the last four weeks. Fingers crossed that she stays in the collection. And another one I'm not 100% sure about. I thought the high humidity would help this orchid kickstart into growing really, really well for me again, at least for this season to regain some strength. And that is my Serato Stylus Philippinensis. I managed to ward off the thrips on her, but she's not happy. I'm gonna keep her. She's still got green on her but you can see a side of the plant that is already going brown. And that's what's been happening for the last two years Been losing her bit by bit by bit. I don't want to give up, but with the high humidity that I had this year, I am so surprised that all I can see is some really nice roots that can't really find a way on how to sustain the orchid any better. However, I also have some good news. I want to show you my Cattleya Rex. This one was plagued by scale for the longest time. It is very slow to bounce back. And I think it's also my setup with the Leca and Semi Hydro. When that new growth grows, new roots, it's going to go into lava rock. So for now, I'm really pleased that this one is still around considering there was two in the pot when they arrived and the other one has left the patio a long, long time ago. So I still have the Rex. I wanted to end on a high note because it is super upsetting to lose orchids. But anyway, at the end of the day, now my little shelf is at least clean for the next three hours. <laughs> I appreciate you clicking on the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you would give me a like for this video, boost my self-esteem, make me feel a little bit better. That would be awesome. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it is not all doom and gloom on the patio. Your vote of confidence would be appreciated as well. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Have yourself a fabulous day on that one condition, though please that you stay safe. Take care. Bye from Siliano and myself.